Hi students, let us continue with the next topic in the subject computer organization and architecture is CISC processor. In the previous video, I, I explained about the RISC processor. So now coming to the CISC. A CISC is nothing but it is a complex instruction set computer. So whereas in the previous video, I said the RISC is nothing but it is a reduced instruction set computer so the name itself is saying that reduced instruction set will be there whereas in here the complex instruction set will be there so the main the CISC is designed to minimize the minimize the number of instructions per program so the main use of a uh, uh, CISC processor is to design the number of instructions per program and ignoring the number of cycles, ignoring the number of cycles per instructions. Whereas in RISC, one instruction will execute in one clock cycle. Okay, so here in a complex instruction set, uh, it is designed to minimize the number of instructions per program and also it ignores the number of cycles per instruction. So the most, uh, the CISC processor is mostly used in the desktop, desktop computers or laptop computers. So whereas in, in the previous, the RISC is used in uh, uh, tablets, smartphones, so for those devices, we will uh, they will use a RISC processor. For the CISC processor, the CISC processor will is, is used in the desktop or laptop computers. So here the compiler has to do very little work to translate the high level language to machine code because the length of the code is relatively short in the CISC, whereas in the RISC it is the length of the code is more. So uh, here the length of the code is relatively short. So a very little RAM is required to store instruction. So here a very little RAM is required is required to store instructions. Why it requires only the small, uh, little RAM? Because here the length of the code is relatively short. Okay. So let us see the architecture of the uh, CISC processor. So it is desi uh, designed to decrease the memory cost uh, because more storage needed here in large programs resulting higher memory cost. So to resolve these, the number of instructions per program can be reduced by embedding the number of operations in a single instruction. So here they are just adding a number of operations in a single instructions uh, to resolve the problem like number of instructions per program that can be reduced. So the number of instructions per program can be minimized or reduced by just embedding the number of operations in a single instruction. So that is the main advantage in the CISC processing. So let us see this here in CISC processing. You are having the control unit and instruction and data path. So here the instruction and data path will be placed in one unit. And here it's having the microprogrammed control unit. Microprogram control unit. And here the cache will be there. Cache and main memory. Okay. So this is the architecture of uh, RISC-CISC processor. Now let us see what are the characteristics that are present in the RISC-CISC processor. Characteristics. The CISC processor characteristics. So the first characteristic is variety of addressing modes will be used in CISC processor. Variety of addressing modes and here a large number of instructions will be present and that will be minimized by just embedding the number of operations in a single instruction. So large number of instructions is required and variable length of instruction formats will be there. Variable length of 
instruction format instruction format will be variable length and next several cycles several cycle several cycles may be required several cycles may be required to execute one instruction so to execute one instructions it requires several cycles and also i already said the sys processor may, uh, it, ignoring the number of cycles so you can uh, re use several cycles to execute one instructions and next uh, instruction decoding logic is complex here instruction decoding logic is complex okay so these are the uh, characteristics of this sysc processor thank you